In my last mathematical physics video, link in the description, we obtained this complete unbroken QEW Lagrangian density and this spontaneously broken one. And in a video that I made a long time ago, link also in the description, we obtained this result for the quantum chromodynamics Lagrangian. In this video, we're going to put these two pieces together to obtain the complete standard model Lagrangian density. This is actually an extremely short task, despite how daunting the prospect of constructing the complete standard model Lagrangian density might seem. The reason why it is so much shorter is because it's really just the last step in an overall task, which actually is quite daunting. The much more difficult parts of constructing the complete standard model Lagrangian, which are constructing the QEW and QCD pieces separately have already been done in the aforementioned other videos. So in short, the reason why our task in this video is so short is just because it really is the last step after the hard stuff is done. To put QEW and QCD together, we need to build QCD around the quarks that already show up in QEW, according to the form of the QCD Lagrangian we already have. The QCD Lagrangian shows us that we need to add two terms to accomplish this. First, we must add this gluon field gauge term, and second, we must add this quark gluon coupling term, where QG stands for quark gluon coupling in this context. Because the SU3 symmetry of QCD isn't involved in spontaneous symmetry breaking in the standard model, this procedure applies both before and after spontaneous symmetry breaking. Therefore, inserting these terms gives us this unbroken complete standard model Lagrangian density, where I've inserted the coupling to the gluons into the quark covariant derivatives with suppressed color indices, and it also gives us this spontaneously broken complete standard model Lagrangian density. Note that because we've added an SU3 invariant QCD sector, the unbroken Lagrangian now has SU3 direct SU2 direct U1 gauge symmetry, the famous standard model gauge group. It's also important to note that this version of the standard model doesn't include neutrino masses. I'll explain how to add neutrino masses to the standard model in a future video. And with that, we're all done. I'm now just going to leave these impressive Lagrangians on the screen for a while for your enjoyment. Don't forget to subscribe.